Hello, welcome back and welcome to my YouTube channel. In today's video I'm going to be talking about the interview process, which is the second phase of getting into med school. So if you've got an interview, remember you're 50% there, you've almost got it. In this video I'm going to be splitting it into two different parts. The first part I'm going to be talking about just my general advice and my general experience with the med school interviews and which unis I've Got an interview for. In the second part I'm going to be talking about the resources to use, what I recommend. So I applied to four unis obviously which is the max amount that you could apply to. I applied to Leicester, Belfast, Kiel and Anglia Ruskin. I didn't get an interview for Leicester um, but I did get an interview for the other three and all three of those were MMI so obviously in this YouTube video I'm only going to be talking about MMI. And Anglia Ruskin was by far the hardest MMI interview ever. Kiel was the nicest. The staff there were just so lovely to me and it was a really good experience. And Belfast was probably the easiest one, um, even though they had more stations. And if you guys don't know what MMI is, it stands for multiple mini interviews. It can range between seven to 11 stations, depending on the university. Each station would be about a different topic or a different task that you have to do. And you'll be talking to different professionals. So you could be talking to fifth year medical students or you could also be talking to a professor or a doctor and obviously this year is going to be very strange for you guys because it's going to be online but in general the principle still stands the same you're obviously going to have different stations still except you're just going to be talking to them online and if anything it might be better you might feel more comfortable at home you might feel more relaxed you might not get as nervous as you would in person so use that to ad your advantage guys that's what i'm saying now my general advice when it comes to these interviews is number one don't please don't script your answers just don't do it yeah no 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 don't do it please because i promise you it will work against you they will know they will know that you've scripted that answer. It's very obvious. It doesn't matter how good your acting skills are, okay? You know Leonardo DiCaprio. Just practice answering questions on the spot. Practice in front of the mirror, practice with your family, practice with your friends. Just practice answering questions naturally. The second tip is be humble. Be aware that you don't know everything about medicine yet. Don't come across like you know everything and you already know the physiology of the heart or stuff like that. I feel like some people go into med interviews revising medicine before they've even started the course. They're not looking for someone that already knows medicine, otherwise what's the point of you starting to study medicine? Go in there showing that you are so willing to learn, so excited to learn about medicine. You know, show that side of you. Don't come across as this arrogant fool who thinks they know everything. I'm telling you, it just won't work. The third tip is be sure of yourself because there are there are going to be stations there are going to be people who are going to try and throw you off they're going to look scary they're going to look intimidating they're going to make you second guess your answers but don't okay it's all a trick don't fall for it be confident and you've got it right now moving on to the resources the best resources i gotta say that i used is youtube number one there are youtube videos of people doing practice questions with each other and it's so useful to just see how people answer the questions there are also really interesting good youtube videos for the ethics section that you'll have in an mmi interview i'll put the youtube videos that i found really useful down below the second resource that i really recommend you guys subscribing to is medic mind they have amazing videos that was so helpful for me and basically these videos just show practice interviews basically of certain questions and it will show you what a good interview looks like and what a bad interview looks like and they'll also talk about the different med schools and what they look for you know especially when they ask you questions like why did you choose this med school medic mind like goes through every single university and talks about how they teach their course what they use whether they do like full body dissections or not and their placements start you know th th that kind of information that you need to know about the university medic mind has it all the second um resource that i used a lot was 
Medic Portal and the MSAG blogs in terms of being up to date with what's going on with the NHS because there are NHS hot topics that come up. I'll obviously put all the links down below but you need to keep up to date especially this year with Covid because it's changed so much with the NHS and you really need to know about that. I think most of you guys probably already know that by now and you're probably already reading the news about it. But obviously, keep up to date with how it's impacting the NHS so you can really talk about it if they do ask about it in the interviews. And the final resource that I'll definitely recommend is the How to Prepare for Medical Interviews book. Now, you don't have to get this, but I definitely did use it and I definitely did find it extremely helpful just in terms of like how to just generally prepare for the interview um, it talks about the different stations um, different topics that might come up it's, it's a very very helpful video uh, I mean book very very helpful book but yeah those are the main resources that I use they are relatively timeless so obviously they're still relevant for those who are applying this year apart from obviously everything that's going on with covid which you need to read up on and obviously it's going to be different for you guys because you've got got it all on online for the first time in history. I hope you guys found this video somewhat helpful. If you have any other like video ideas or any other tips that you want to hear from me, do let me know in the comments section down below. I feel like a proper YouTuber when I say that. But yeah, that's it.